Hi guys, you might think it's crazy doing the Christmas gravy this early, but the great thing is you can make it in advance, up to a month in ahead actually, and freeze it and thaw it out on the day and mix with your turkey juices. It's one less job to do on the day, which is fantastic. You start by roasting a load of fresh vegetables, herbs and meat, and then add flour and water and mix it up, bring it to the boil and until it thickens and becomes really, really flavoursome. Start with a kilo of chicken wings, breaking all the bones. This will really let out the flavour from the bones and add them to a roasting pot. The wider the roasting pot is, the better. Then add 250 grams of smoked streaky bacon. Your pot needs to be oven and hob compatible. So to that you add three roughly chopped carrots, four celery sticks, two onions that are quartered. I'm using red ones, but use whatever ones you'd like. Now I'm adding the cloves of these two small garlic bulbs. Just break them up, don't bother peeling them. Then I added about two and a half star anise, about three good sprigs of sage, followed by a few good sprigs of thyme, three sprigs of rosemary, followed by a lot of bay. I've got 20 small leaves here that I like to cut in half. That let out a lot more flavour, then season well with salt and pepper. Then give it a little drizzle of olive oil. It doesn't need much because the fat and the bacon and the chicken will render out. Then just mix it all up and transfer it to a hot oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about an hour. Then you take it out and put it on a medium low heat and mix it up. By the way, if you don't have any of these herbs, don't worry about it. Just use what you have. Also, if you think you don't like celery, you're a bit like me, but trust me, in this recipe and for stocks and soups and everything, it just goes really well. It gives a really nice kind of base flavour. So now go at it with a potato masher and really mash and grind everything in together, scraping all the bits off the bottom of the pan and let it all fry in its own juices. The longer you let it fry like this, the browner your gravy is going to be. So next you're going to add 4 tablespoons of flour and then mix all that up and make sure that it's all combined and incorporated into the mixture. Remembering to scrape up any of those little brown bits at the bottom of the pan, that's going to really really release an awful lot of flavour. Now that this is truly looking like a hot mess, you're going to add 2 litres of hot water and bring all that to the boil and allow it to boil vigorously for about 10 minutes while you continuously stir. You can taste and adjust for seasoning now, but just be careful to make sure that it's under seasoned because once this is frozen and thawed out on Christmas Day, you're going to be adding it to the turkey pan juices. So you can season then, but for now, it's better to under season. So once that's been boiling and reducing and thickening for 10 minutes, you then bring it down to a low simmer and let it simmer away gently for about a half an hour. You then give it one last mix up before you take it off the heat and prepare to sieve it. For sieving I have a big saucepan lined with a fine mesh sieve just beyond my pan of gravy and just beyond that I have another pot to discard the waste. So just add a few ladlefuls at a time and really go at it with a potato masher forcing it all through, trying to get absolutely as much juice as you can from it before discarding to your waste pot. Then just keep repeating this process until all your gravy is been passed through your sieve and you're left with a saucepan full of really nice thick velvety gravy that is ready to freeze and then be thawed on Christmas day and add it to the turkey juices in the pan to make the most amazing gravy. So that's it, sorry I don't have a picture of the end result, but if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for the full recipe, go to my blog www.rookiecook.org.